Welcome back to Briggs on Books, uh, our international talk show. We talk to authors from all over the world uh, here every day, and also on our YouTube channel, our Facebook channel. Uh, what are those other ones? Instagram, Twitter, we're on all of those things now. Our first guest today was from Wales in the United Kingdom. The second guest was from New South Wales in Australia. Our next guest is all the way from uh, the state of Washington, Walla Walla, Washington. Uh, welcome, author Rebecca Olmstead. Rebecca? Thank you. Uh, let me ask you, what's, what's it like in Walla Walla? Is there snow, rain? What happens there? Uh, we're actually having a beautiful sunny day, nice. so it's exciting. All hey. the spring, spring bulbs are coming up and things are blooming. Yeah. Now, you're just north of the Oregon border in Washington? Yes. A little bit north there? Um, yeah. And does it ever rain there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, it's been, a, it's been a damp spring so far. Yeah. Stormy and damp, but where we are, in, Where we are in California, it just doesn't rain. We just go months at a time. Wow. You get, get a half an inch <laughs> and the whole city stops and has to re, oh. regroup and rebuild. Now, is it fair to call you a Christian author? Yes. Um, older, your previous works, the... Uh, uh, daily uh, Promise of the Day devotional for victorious living. I love that. And these, uh, another one, uh, I hate to call them old books, but previous publications. Uh, right. Love So Much It Hurts. But yes. What, but what we're going to talk about is a new, it's a novel. Is it a mystery novel? Yes, it is. And it's a Christian it's novel, would you say? Tell us a little bit about uh, Dreams and Illusions. Well, uh, it's quite a story, actually, um, about the beginning of the book. I started it over 30 years ago, oh um, and then just as I was starting to um, to pitch it and, and um, sell it out there, uh, I was diagnosed with a sarcoma tumor, mm. and um, so that went to the back burner, and out of that came... Um, Love So Much It Hurts, mm -hmm. which was my journey through cancer. And out of that journey came uh, my ministry. I have an online ministry. It's watchgodwork.com. And um, that birthed my devotional. And once that was out, I went back to the mystery. So um, in the mystery, uh, my, my uh, main kin, and she was raised in the church, and she has the gift of seeing. Mm. Um, she's a dreamer, and she can uh, dream things that are going to happen. Um, and so throughout this uh, entire series, she'll be struggling with that and with her relationship with God because her, her gift wasn't able to save um, her parents and the people closest to her. Mm. But um, she has to come to terms with you know, God's purpose for her plan mm. and for her gift. And she's surrounded by friends that help her along the way. In this first book, she has an estranged sister who has gotten into trouble in Seattle. And um, so she flies to Seattle to help her sister get out of a first-degree murder charge. Mm. And it's set in um, 1999. So um, that's still a capital offense in Washington. So there's a lot on the line for her there. Wow. Now, who's going to read this book? Is it mystery, uh, mystery lovers? Yes. Um, I'm kind of surprised at the reviews that are coming in because I initially thought women, Christian women, um, who like clean fiction and who love mysteries would be my audience. But I'm getting quite a, quite a bit of feedback from men who are enjoying it, too. Oh, that's great. Yeah. My purpose in writing this was um, I was so tired of not being able to find um, a good mystery series that is clean. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't want the cursing and, yeah. and the, you know, promiscuity. And um, I just wanted a good story. And that's what prompted me to start this series. And there's quite a few people out there, apparently, who want the same. Yeah. Is there romance? Um, she's a widow in the first book. Um, and so as the series moves on, She'll slowly start to open up to mm -hmm. um, the idea of maybe somebody else in her life. Yeah. And is it uh, inspirational? Are people struggling with their faith or people of no faith at all? Are they going to find some inspiration in this? I think so. It's um, That's what the reviews are telling me. Yeah. 
Um, I write not, um, a, usually mysteries and cozy mysteries come from a plot driven mm -hmm. um, action, but mine is more character driven. Character driven. And the, mm -hmm. the struggle um, of Gabrielle and other characters uh, in their relationship with God um, plays a big role. So I think it is, in a way, um, inspirational for people who, who have that struggle, who don't, you know, really understand God's purpose for their life. And, um, and so, yeah, I think it, it is inspirational. Now, I have your web address on the screen, RebeccaOlmstead.com. If our viewers go there, what are they going to find? Well, uh, you will find a link to one of my free short stories. Mm. Um, if, if you join my website, and, um, and it's called The Uninvited Guest. It was my first award-winning short story. Mm. Uh, and then you will also find a, a place to um, join my ARC team, my Advanced Readers Club. Mm. And uh, you will find my bookstore. And you can purchase any of my fiction or nonfiction in that bookstore. Um, and you'll find, you know, more about me and a daily blog, uh, not a daily, a weekly or monthly blog, depending on how busy I am. Yeah. Um, just filling you in on, you know, my life and my hobbies and what's going on with the next books. Nice. Now, I like to ask most of the authors a question about their process, but tell me about this advanced readers team. Are people reading your books in, before you publish them to find the errors, find the weak spots? Yeah, I like to get um, feedback from my fans and the people who read my stuff to see, you know, am I writing it smoothly? Can you follow mm -hmm. the storyline? Do you, do you like this character? Um, and just get their feedback before it goes public. Nice. Um, and it's usually after my editor has seen it. And uh, I get a lot of ideas and um, in this book, Dreams and Illusions, the first in the series, um, I know people really hated one of the characters, and I actually had to change her <laughs> just a bit to make her more pal palpable. Yeah, amazing. But I, I had never really talked to a few people, but not very many people about that process. Uh, most people let their books fly, and I see all kinds of mistakes and errors and plot mm -hmm. problems and stuff like that. But good idea. A ART, you said? Advanced Reader Team? ARC. 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 Okay, very good. Uh, Rebecca, we're, I want to talk to you all day. You're fascinating. Uh, but we're out of time already. But any last thoughts, anything you want our viewers to know about you or your book? Um, yeah, I am writing these books. Um, every book I write goes to support my ministry, which is a worldwide ministry. So um, any income I make from the books, uh, I also have an, uh, an up connected to my um, mission and all of it, all the proceeds go to um, help people. And I hear from people all over the world. And um, so, yeah, I'd like them to know that. Okay. So there's another reason to buy your books. Now they can buy them on your website as well as Amazon? Um, currently, I have it. Um, they're all linked to Amazon or um, Barnes & Noble or your favorite bookshop. Um, I'm working to make it so that you can actually buy them in shop so I can control the pricing a little better. Yeah. Yes. Very good. And well, also, my the next book in the series is due out um, in November, hopefully. And also, my next, uh, my next uh, nonfiction, Christian nonfiction, will be out this year, hopefully, too. So... So dream, Dreams and Illusions is book one of how many? Um, right now it's planning um, to be 12 or 13. Oh, my series. goodness. That's great. And we'll see the same character go throughout, hopefully. I love that. Oh, yeah. yeah yes, yeah. definitely. You'll, you'll see her growth and, and the other characters as well. Um, you are, well, you've inspired me. I mean, just... I'm always so happy people can finish writing a book. You know, I'd be happy just, uh, you know, get finished. You've done multiple books, and I just appreciate what you're doing and your, your ministry and that you're so open about everything and your web address. People can contact you. So thank you so much, uh, Rebecca Olmstead. I really appreciate you and taking the time to talk to us. Thank you, Mike. I sure had a good time talking to you. Thank you, and hopefully you'll come back soon. 
Yeah, that would be great. All right, we'll be <laughs> back with more Briggs on Books right after this. Don't go anywhere. We have another author coming up right away. <laughs> 